Hey foodies, are you ready for the ultimate tailgating food? Well, get those grills fired up because I'm gonna show you how to make one of the best tailgating treats you could possibly have. They're called pork belly pinwheels. Don't be afraid, pork belly is simply where bacon comes from. But let me tell you, you cook these things for your friends, they're gonna to wanna to come back for more. I wanna be able to cut these in a way that it's not too skinny but I can still roll it. So I'm gonna do the first one as kind of a test. Good clean cut. And I wanna be able to roll it like that. And then I'm gonna take this skewer that I have, just put it right through. Now this skewer has been sitting in water for about 30 minutes, just like that. That's how our pinwheel is gonna look. I'm gonna put that off the side and we're gonna do another one. This one I'm probably gonna do a little thinner, just because it's probably easier to roll up. Oh yeah, heck yeah, a lot easier. Take another one of our skewers and just go right in the side, right through everything and out the other end. Look at that, that looks pretty good. All right, well, I'm going to finish this up, and then we're going to put it on the smoker. Voila, just like that. So I got all of these like this. I'm going to take some mustard, put it over the top, maybe. You could use mustard, you could use water, you don't have to use any kind of binder. You could use Worcestershire sauce, it all works. You don't need a lot, all you need is just enough to hold that shake to it, or rub, whatever you're going to use. I'm going to use some Uncle Steve's Competition Pig Shake. Like I said, you use whatever you want. But give them just a nice dose of Uncle Steve's or your whatever rub or shake you come up with. Whatever your favorite one is, that's what you use. Right on. Now we're going to turn them. We're going to do the same thing. Tell already they're going to taste amazing. I mean, heck, anything that's got bacon or pork in it, you know what I mean? Huh. Well, do this. Oh, heck yeah. Another nice coating. What's nice too is that Uncle Steve's or whatever shake you're going to use is also going to get into the hole that's in the middle of these. Oh, you can't go wrong. Right on. All right, these are going to sit for about 15 minutes until our shake or rub starts kind of blending in, look, starting to look wet. Then we're going to throw it on the smoker. All right, our smoker just hit 250. It is time to put our pinwheels on it. I'm gonna do kind of a staggering move for the pinwheels. Line them up just like that. And so with the next ones, I can kind of just throw them in between or maybe go like that. Awesome, those look great. Now our pinwheels are gonna sit on the smoker for about 30 minutes at 250 at that time we're going to come back we're going to take a look at them see if they need spritz see if they need flipped what temperature they're at just kind of take a take a look at where we're at we'll see you then our 30 minutes are up these actually look really good but man they're hot but i just want to check that temp and it's still a little spongy we're coming in at about uh, 135 ish 
Not there yet where I want to be. I want to be at about 160. Back end is going a little slower. That's why I put the big ones in the back end because I knew they'd go a little slower. I'm gonna give these a flip though. You know, it reminds me of bacon that's not cooked yet. But after all, that's pretty much what bacon is. It comes from the pork belly. Excellent, I say another 30 minutes and we'll take a look at them then. I can hear the crackling going on, just like bacon. All right, this one looks like it's done. Let's check this one out. So close, I mean, just right there. Let me give these another flip. Really wanna see what that other side looks like. Yeah. And look at it, it's just crackling like bacon. It is. Can't go wrong with bacon, man. I'm gonna give these another 15 minutes and then I think it's time to put some barbecue sauce on them. Our 15 minutes is up. I'm just using some G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, just kind of putting it on the top. I'm not going to do a lot because we also are going to make something to go along with this that adds flavor. Give these a flip. more barbecue sauce on it. You can put it on the side if you want. It's your call. These are firmed up as well, just how I like them. The 160, 165 is just about perfect. I'm going to let these cook for about 10 minutes, then we're going to remove them. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. So these are going to rest for about 10 minutes, but in the meantime, I do want to make a dipping sauce. It is just really equal parts of sriracha and mayo. Put about that much in. You, of course, don't have to make this. You can put whatever you want in it. Perfect. My little swizzle stick. Mix it up. And give it a little taste. That's actually about, about perfect. I'm gonna add some green Tabasco to it, not a lot. That green Tabasco can overpower, about four or five shakes. Go back, stir it in. Mm, that's perfect. I think it's gonna go great with these pork belly pinwheels. All right, we're gonna let them rest, and we'll see you then. I know you've been chomping at the bit to try these, me too. I want to cut one open first, kind of take a look at it. Cooked perfectly. Let's try it out. <laughs> Immediately flavorful. Immediately. Man, your taste buds are going to dance with these. Mm. That's some racha sauce. Dang, serious. These things are so simple to make. I love about them. When they come off, they retain their, their shape for the most part, right? I mean, yeah, the middle part came out, but hey, it's all about finger food, tailgating. If tailgating food is not messy, then it ain't worth it. But I'm telling you, you get that shake on there, you definitely get the flavor of that pork. It tastes a lot like bacon. You get some of that barbecue sauce on there. The beauty part is if you wanted to do this very, very low carb, I recommend going with a shake or a rub that has no sugar or very little like Uncle Steve's SPG shake. Good stuff. Not a sponsor, just a friend. Also, that G Hughes barbecue sauce. You can get it with no sugar in it and it is damn good. Mmm. 
the ultimate tailgating food right here and you can make it super simple impress your friends all right this is all a part of our tailgating series next time eddie jackson wonton mac and cheese see you then thanks